What's up guys? Welcome back to Sundown Audio Unofficial, your home for all the behind the scenes footage from here at Sundown Audio. It is Sunday afternoon, September 16th. We got Hurricane Florence going on outside. Fortunately, we're pretty far from the coast, so it's not hitting us bad. We're just getting a little bit of rain. I'm up here braving the weather, getting wet for y'all. Now we're just getting a little bit of rain outside. Haven't even heard of any major flooding in the area. It's all good here. All right, now on to the main point of this video. Someone always asked for me to do a video talking all about sundown demo vans. So that's what I'm gonna do here. We'll walk around, start the front. This is a 2006 Chevy Express fan. It is a 3500 series. It does have the Duramax diesel in it. We do have the front end conversion on it. All new headlights, grill. Starting up here, there are two excessive amperage alternators. I think you can kind of see one down in there. The other one's buried somewhere else all in this crap. So you can see an excess power D3400 up here. There is another D3400 in the battery case down there up under the truck. You probably can't see it. We got the Rockstar wheels, the flat back black paint job. All the paint and body work was done by Ronnie's Auto Body up in Virginia. You can kind of see here the ghosted decals on it. It's basically matte black on matte black. We did all the graphics and decal work right here in house. Now, the only thing stereo-wise that wasn't done here at Sundown Audio are the doors. All the doors were outsourced and they were done by a conglomeration of people. So that's a long story I don't even want to get into because I just don't have enough time in this video. So the front doors, see we have three Neopro 8s in each door, three Neopro 6.5s, Selenium ST200 tweeter, See, same on this side. Three eighths, three six and a halves, the tweeter. Now, I'll go around the side doors, I'll show you here this door doesn't quite want to shut well. One of the things that having a huge system. So all six doors are loaded. Two on the front, two on the side, two in the back. More Neo Pros, six more eights, six more six and a halves, four tweeters on this side. This door is a little bit shorter, so we can only fit three tweeters here. We got the six Neo Pro eights, six six and a halves. Move on to the back. More Neo Pros, four more eights, six more six and a halves, four more tweeters in each door back here. And these are all powered by nine SAX 125.4 amplifiers. Now these little spots you see in here between them, those are cooling fans. Help keep everything cool when you're out demoing in the summer. Now the head unit is a Pioneer. Nothing, nothing fancy, just a basic Pioneer head unit. <clears throat> Four subwoofers. We are currently running Nightshade version 4 15s. 
nine of them. These are dual one ohm voice coils. We have a SCV 7500 at half ohm on each one. This is a huge large ratio band pass. It is a fourth order. I'll talk a little more about that in a second. Back here you can see all the amps. SCV 7500. Nine of them total, four on each side, and then one in the middle. Some people come, they look at it, and they, they don't even notice this is an amplifier laid out right here. So because of the odd number, we were able to fit four vertical on each side. We did the one more in the middle, did the floating amp idea, reversed it, plexi cover. You can kind of see the etched sundown logo across there. Decided to show off the amp guts a little bit. Now, as well as the two D3400s we have up front, back here, there's 17 excess power D3100s. It's all backlit, etched plexiglass, courtesy of Jared Gibson at GeefWorks. Keep everything topped off. We have the excess power chargers, four excess power PSC 60 chargers. They are built in, permanently installed. Controllers are mounted up here. We wired in 110 plugs here on the side, one on each side, one for each pair of chargers. So any shows we go to, if we have power, we can just plug it up and you got 240 amps of power sitting there chilling with the engine off. A lot of times we have power, we just put, hook them up, we won't even run the engine. We'll sit and let it demo just off that. And it does pretty well. Even though we have so much power on tap, it's rare that we turn it up full tilt. Nine amps on the subs, nine subs. A lot of mids and highs. Um, without doing the math, if I remember right, we have 72 total. And you're probably gonna wonder how we have 72 total, especially with some of the odd, like we have three tweeters here and four tweeters there. Some of the odd numbers wired up. Well, I'm gonna tell you the main reason we went with the nine SAX 125.4s just to match the nine subwoofer amps. That's the only reason. Figured we had nine amps in the back, so we did nine amps in the front. Now, as far as how they're all wired up, I'd have to draw a diagram. No way I could explain that just uh, off the top of my head. But it's all there. It's all evened out. It's all equal. It all works. If you've heard this in person, it's loud, insanely loud. All right, I'm in here in the enclosure. Hope you can hear me well. And I wanted to get in here, set the camera up, be able to talk about what we got going on, what the design is, why we did things the way we did. So the, overall with the van, we wanted a big van. We knew we wanted to do something huge, eye-catching, something that just looked big and amazing, something made people want to walk over, check it out, so that we could take this to shows, set it up next to our booth, and let it attract a lot of attention. Obviously, we're going to build something big. We're, we're going to go all out. We want it to be loud, too. So we wanted something that would go with the times and kind of what most of our newer model subs are designed to do. Something that's gonna play low and loud and it is, most people say they wanna smash the lows. So we started with huge ratio, big band pass. This is a three to one ratio. That's why you see there's such a huge ported chamber here. 
I designed it like a Super Street build. These are all sealed tubes. Each subwoofer is in its own separate sealed section. They're built as octagons. I love octagons because they're just easy to build. They're really easy to build. Other big good thing about this design, we built the shell, we put the tubes in. We can pull all this out. We can take this 915 setup out. We could put 615s. We could put 418s. We could change this up to, I don't know, 1612s if we wanted to. We can totally change this by simply removing all the tubes, all the sealed section, build new ones, put in, change the setup completely. So we built all, all the tubes, all the octagons, got all that right, got it in. Everything worked out great. Three to one band pass. The port is just big enough for us to, for us to slide these through. Um, we started with ZV-5s. That was the hot seller last year. We brought this van out. This year, Nightshade V4s are new. That's a new big thing. So we swapped them in there to show them off a little bit. That's what we have in here now. Um, most people know you got big band pass, using a lot of power, especially if there's a sealed section. If you have your sub mounted inside the sealed section, you'll build up heat. Heat will just build up, build up in there, cause your sub to get hot. Invert your subwoofers, get your motors, your coils, everything out here. They're going to get hot. That also helps to transition air to your bigger ported section where that air can also move out. So you, all that hot air gets moved out, new fresh air can get moved in help keep your subwoofers cooler. So that's why everything's inverted. It also looks pretty cool. Invert the subs, got the big motors on the back with the nice AV4s. I know they got a little bit of a different funky look, but it just looks kind of badass. Everybody that gets in here, looks in, just makes you say, wow. Same with back here. We wanted something big, eye-couching, that just made you look at it and go, wow. So if you were across the parking lot, across the field, whatever show we at, if you were just in eyesight of this thing walking around, you looked over and you saw it, you went, holy cow, I need to come check this out. So that's why we did it big, better, better than anything we've done in the past. Something so big that everybody in the whole place, as soon as you get, a, get an eye catch of it, you're just like, I've got to go see that up close. Draw the people in, give them a listen, let them check out our booth, everything we have to offer. Now obviously, with an SCV 7500 at half home on each sub, we have a lot of power on tap. So why do we do that? Why do we need so much power for a sub that is not rated that much? Well, as anybody should know, we underrate all of our subwoofers. Underrate them by a lot. Nightshades, man, there's, most guys are running four or 5,000 watts a piece of these things. I mean, 3,000 is a bare minimum. If you're not running 3,000, you're really not even trying to push it to its potential. So if you talk to anybody or use these amplifiers yourself, these are 12 volt only. We're rated 7,500 watts. These things will do 10K. Easy. 10,000 watts at one ohm. We've got guys seeing as much as 13,000 watts from these amplifiers. Of course, that's all dependent on your reactive load, your voltage. That's a whole other talk for later. I'm not getting into it right now. Just know these things will do 10,000 easy. Even drop in voltage, um, low voltage little over one ohm reactive whatever if you're not getting 85 8800 watts out of these things you're not doing something right you're either you're either at nine volts or your reactive is through the roof again talking about those de those subjects and details it's a whole other top for later i'll do a whole other video on that but the big thing that having this much power on tap allows us to do is not overdrive our amplifiers i'm a believer that you can never have too much power if you have 3,000 watt amplifier and you're trying to get every last bit of power out of it, you're going to push your gains, you're going to push your bass boost, push your volume, you're going to distort everything, you're going to crank it and clip it, you're going to end up damaging your subwoofer. By having 10,000 watts of power per sub on tap, we don't have to run these amps full tilt, we don't have to run our head unit, our line driver, we don't have to push nothing really hard. We can essentially hold back baby everything, let everything run nice and easy and cool, not have any issue getting the max amount of power that we desire to push these subwoofers. All right, so what's a video showing you around the van if I don't at least try and play it a little bit, do a hair trick. So I got my daughter Kirsten in here. She's gonna do a hair trick for y'all. Well, nobody pray for me. They've been not there for me. 
What about the lighting? Hopefully you can see. Yeah, That is engine off, chilling, mid 12 volt range. Battery power only, excess power for the win. All right, this is my youngest daughter, Sydney. Sydney, what do you think about the Sundown van? It's colorful. It's very colorful. Is it loud? Is, yeah. it, is it very loud? Yeah. It's very loud. All right, guys, hope I answered all your questions about the van. If not, Feel free to leave your questions in the comments. I'll do my best to get to them. If I need, I'll make a whole other video answering all your questions. If you like what we're doing here on the channel, give us a thumbs up, click that like button. Sydney, Sydney, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up, click the like button, click subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Till next time.